I think the form of communication that I find the most useful with CMAA are the newsletters and the blogs. You know, it's, it's live, active updates, it's short snippets of information. Um, while all the other pieces, the magazine and everything are very informative, you know, keeping that constant kind of stream of communication going. So I would say the newsletter, the weekly newsletters and kind of blogs are, are my favorite. I use each of the email methods uh, uniquely. I find a lot of value in some of the AI driven articles that they send. Um, I, I do uh, use the club management magazine digitally and uh, reference that for information and, and ideas. So I use, I use all forms of communication a little bit differently depending upon what I need. The communication I find most useful for CMAA is the periodic uh, email newsletters. They really offer a uh, variety of happenings uh, throughout the year, particularly during that particular quarter of the year and it's something that really keeps me involved and in the know of what is happening not only locally but throughout the nation. It gives me the opportunity to choose what I want to participate in next. I think one of my favorite things is the blog that I get that Jeff Morgan does uh, every month because it's an insider look at some of the things that are going on in CMAA and once again the newsletter I love the the newsletter links and being able to read the things that I want to and I'm interested in first and then going back and, and looking at all of the, the communications from the national staff. I look forward to every CMAA email that I receive and I know that sounds cheesy but I really do read them. The recaps and the legislative updates and um, promotion for upcoming events, I think it's also important and I can't encourage everyone enough to to do that. Um, go on the website, see what people are talking about again, get plugged into CMA Connect and those online communities, they have been so vital um, in my career thus far.